What's up guys, this is Courtney, one half of Resident Evil Construction here, and happy Power Rangers month. Um, I'm going to be doing a tier list for you guys today, and this is going to be a ranking of the Power Ranger suits. So, I got everything loaded up here, um, so let's get into it. <clears throat> Immediately, uh, Lightspeed Rescue is going into D, just immediately. Um, I didn't watch Lightspeed Rescue when I was a kid because I did not like the suits. I just they just look weird. Like the the it reminds me of the ribbons from anybody that's from Chicago, Southside represent. Anybody that's been to a White Sox game, they know at the at USA or the field. It's not called that now, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Spent so much time, you know, being used to calling it Comiskey Park. Then it was the USA or the field, so I'm sticking with that. But the the at the stadium there are ribbons that that light up whenever a home run is hit. That's what the suits remind me of, but it just looks like they got blown up and put on people. I don't like them. Um, this is supposed to be in order, but opening it back up, they're just all over the place. Um, so I'm really just going to have to like bounce around and I'm not wearing my glasses. So, you know, sorry about that. Um, I do know that I'm going to be putting space. So, uh, again, excuse me for bouncing around because they're not in order. Um, this was supposed to be saved with them in chronological order, but they didn't for whatever reason. So... I'm going to just work with what I have. Um, this is the TV. I am going to go in order, though. This is the TV show, uh, Ninjetti Suits. So the movie, the 90s movie had the Ninjetti Suits, which is right here. The 90s movie had the suits, but their faces were visible. The TV show had their faces covered. Um, I put the Ninjetti Suits at a B. Um, my other brother that I grew up with, he, we both watched Power Rangers, obviously. So he had a way of folding the shirts over your face where it looked like you were in, you were one of the Ninjetti Rangers. So that goes in B because it's basically a ninja suit with your face covered, right? Really not much to go off of. And then they have the emblems on the chest. Um, because of that, I'm going to skip down a little bit. The movie suits are still going in a B. You can just see their faces. So it wouldn't make sense to put it in a different tier. So this is Power Rangers in space. I actually really like the Space Ranger suit, so I'm going to put that in A. Um, you know, you have the different colors. They have the colors across the chest. The helmets are all different. They have a slightly different angular shape. Um, with the clear, like, top thing. So, I, I really, not clear, but, you know, the translucent or whatever uh, top thing. So, I really enjoyed that. This is Power Rangers Beast Morphers, I think. And... Now, we're not, I'm not basing these off of if I watch the series or not. I'm strictly basing it off of the look of the suits. I think the Beast Morpher suits are okay. They're kind of average looking, so I'll put them in C. Um, the Dino Fury suits, um, and I actually have to lean in a little bit more so I know that I can see. Okay, so the Dino Fury suits, I think, are solid, but they're still kind of average, so I kind of want to put them in C. But then again, the Ninjetti suits are fairly average as well. There's legitimately nothing special about the Ninjetti suits. I just have um, a, a fond childhood memory of them. So I'll put the Dino Fury suits in B, and I'll move the Ninjettis down to C. Um, simply because the Ninjettis are, are, are legitimately average looking outfits. They're just ninja costumes. Um, and the Dino Fury suits have the little, 
the little emblem on the chest and everything like that. So, uh, this is Dino Thunder. And I didn't watch Dino Thunder as a series. Um, the suits, though. And these are fairly average as well. Um, the Alien Rangers I'm putting as a B. Now, again, the Alien Ranger suits are... F you can look at them as kind of, as kind of being average because it doesn't really have any crazy designs on them. I like the Alien Ranger suits because of like the helmets. Um, so this is another thing that goes back to the helmets. Each helmet has a, a, a unique design or unique shape um, on the helmet. So... And this was always interesting to see because the leader of the Alien Rangers was uh, the White Ranger. And it was always interesting seeing the White Ranger in a skirt because, you know, Alien Rangers didn't come around to the third, toward the end of the third season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So it was, it was interesting seeing the white ranger with the skirt because up until that point we were only used to seeing the pink ranger in the skirt and this alien ranger team didn't even have a pink ranger um this is jungle fury i think that's jungle fury uh the jungle fury yeah the, the jungle fury uniforms always looked a little bit weird to me so i think i'm gonna put those in d like they're unique to their animal but they just looked weird um Lost Galaxy gets a B. I like the the little zigzag um, pattern on the chest, and I also like the way that the helmets looked as well. This is Mega Force. Eh, the Mega Force uh, outfits I I would say are average, um, but I think they're better than Dino Thunder. Yeah, I think they're better than Dino Thunder. Dino Thunder. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about Mega Forest. There's like they have like the 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 emblems on the chest or the little emblem on the chest, and the the helmets are kind of unique, but there's nothing really special that pops out to me about uh, Mega Forest. Now, Mighty Morphin. Mighty Morphin is going in A because of the helmets as well. Um, this is, I think Bruce Bruce created this. Um, I think he said this is the White Ranger movie suit. Um, because this is the, no, this is the White Ranger TV show suit. And this is the right white, uh, this is the movie, movie suit. Um, so the White Ranger suit, I think, gets an A because it's just unique. They pulled it from a different Sentai series and they mixed it with, uh, the Mighty Morphin series. Um, now the movie suits, I actually do like there because they changed them slightly and it looks more like armor, but I am going to put it in B because there were little effects on the helmets that made everything look slightly different along with the armor uh, on, you know, in, in the actual suit. But, I mean, I, I would pick the, sh the regular kind of plain looking, surprisingly enough, I would pick the regular plain looking show suits over the movie suits because the movie suits kind of were doing too much with the armor and the plating and everything like that. Um, this is Mystic Force. I mean, Mystic Force isn't nothing special, but they're not, they're pretty average, but they're not D tier, I don't think, but overall, they're, they're legitimately average looking suits, they're just their colors with the M on it. Um, I'll put them in C for right now. Ninja Steel. I actually do like the Ninja Steel outfit, uh, uniforms. Wasn't really that good of a sh uh, show, but I do like the Ninja Steel uniforms. So I'll put that in B. Just because uh, we got two Rangers with skirts. Um, I also, 
I was trying to see. This might be the, if I can zoom in, the Yellow Ranger is cut off, but I can't tell if that's the, if that's the Yellow Ranger that uh they got recast or not. Because when they originally announced the cast for Ninja Steel at PMC, the the Yellow Ranger, and I think the Red Ranger were different actors. I think either one or two of the Rangers were different actors for uh for Ninja Steel. But anyway, I like the Ninja Steel outfits. This is RPM. The RPM outfits are anything crazy. They, they kind of look like they're wearing seat belts because it's a car based uh team. Um, so I'll say it's average, but I'll put them in front of, they're kind of tied with Mega Force, I would say, but the helmets are also really unique though. So I would probably, the suits themselves are average, but the helmets are unique. So I'll put them at the top. They're in front of the Ninjetti suits, but I, I don't think the uniforms themselves are stay at least to me stand out enough to be put in b tier but um, i might end up changing this before we're done what is this this is ninja storm the ninja storm suits are average so they're gonna go in the c tier but i need to figure out where in the c tier they're gonna go i think I put the nin the Ninja Storm suits in front of the Ninjetti suits. Surprisingly, we haven't come across an S tier uh, uniforms yet, but I can also rearrange this stuff. But what we have left, I think, I think I might rearrange to, for the ones that we have on screen now. I think I might rearrange them just a little bit to push one into the S tier. But out of the selection that we have left, we definitely have an S tier uh, outfit. This is what RPM D. I never liked. I didn't watch RPM, but I didn't like the suits either. They just look. Uh, they almost look like the. I get VR Trooper vibes. Um, I, I was never impressed with the with the. No, that's I said RPM. That's Operation Overdrive. The Operation Overdrive suits um, give me VR Trooper vibes, and I was just never really impressed with them. Dino Charge. I like the Dino Charge suits. I also like the helmets as well. They're going in B. I think they're above. They're above the movies, the '95 movie suits and the Ninja Steel suits, but I can't put them in front of Lost Galaxy. Dino Fury or the Alien Ranger. Actually, you know what? I'll put them in front of the Alien Rangers, but I'll move the Alien Rangers right outside of Lost Galaxy. So, next, we have the 2017 movie suits. I actually really like the 2017 movie suits because they're very, very alien, which is... So, two things. They're very, very alien, which I think is kind of appropriate because this is alien technology. That they're coming across and they remind me of the 95 movie suits uh, so i really really like them i know a lot of people didn't but i really like the redesigns for them so i'll put them in the b tier but i don't think i can put them in front of dino fury dino charge or lost galaxy this is Super Mega Force, the pirate suits. I thought the pirate suits were relatively cool, but watching Super Mega Force as a show, um, I was kind of annoyed with them. And the the special thing about Super Mega Force was that that the series that that suit that those suits came from um, was a kind of the the anniversary series. So they were able to morph into any team, any previous team, and use those suits. So, I mean, the, the pirate theme itself is, is kind of cool, and the suits are unique in that way, but you didn't see... They did spend a lot of that season morphing into other Ranger teams, so I don't know how much of an impact 
the suits had just standing on their own. Um, so I'm gonna put them average. They're still kind of unique, fairly unique suits, but just kind of average overall because of a bunch of other factors. What is that? Oh, samurai. Samurai is average. The suits are unique, uh, unique helmets, but overall, actually, let me change Super Mega Force. I'm gonna put Super Mega Force right behind. I'm gonna put Super Mega Force in front of Mega Force, and I'm gonna put Samurai in front of Mega Force. Now this is SPD. SPD is A. You got the numbers on the suits. Um, and you also have the, the, the helmets and the different shapes on the helmets or the different designs on the helmets as well. So I would say I'm going to put SPD right in front of the White Rangers. Uh, maybe it's going to stay there. Time Force S tier. That's the one. That's the one, you, those are the uniforms that I knew were going to be in S tier because the helmets are all unique and the helmets match the shapes on the suits. So each helmet has a particular, uh, so like for example, the Red Ranger has like a, a triangle um, on, on his helmet. His emblem on his chest is that triangle. Um... So, yeah, I, I just really like the uniqueness of the Time Force. Turbo, eh, I didn't watch the Turbo series. As you guys know, I hated Turbo the movie. Um, so, I think I'm going to put Turbo, just overall based on the uniforms, I think I'd put Turbo. They're average looking suits, if we're being honest. Um, I think the, the helmets are relatively cool because it looks like the grill of a car and everything like that. But overall, um, I think they're just average suits. This is, I think I mixed up, um, series because Jungle Fury, I think this is Jungle Fury. I think I called... No, no, I didn't. I thought I was getting Dino, uh, Dino Thunder and Jungle Fury mixed up. The Jungle Fury suits, again, unique helmets do that that correspond with their uh, animals. But I mean, if we let's see, I'm doing a. Oh, okay. So yeah, I got I got stuff completely uh mixed up. So I did get that's Jungle Fury. I honestly cannot remember uh what series that is. If we're being completely honest. Um cuz now I'm looking it up to see which one that is because I knew there was always a couple that's wild force that's wild force okay I think I called something else wild force did I because that's jungle fury okay anyway um wild force the wild force um The Wild Force suits, they have really unique helmets, but I can't say that. <sighs> okay, maybe. So the Wild Force helmets, I think, really lift the lift the suits up because in general, the actual uniforms kind of remind me of Ninja Steel. Because they have, or Samurai, because they have like the strap. Not a strap, but they have like a, they have like a solid strap looking design across the chest. Um, but the helmets take those uniforms over the top. Because you got like a shark, a tiger, a bird, a wolf, things like that. So I think I'm going to put Wild Force in B. But I'm going to put it above... 
the movie suits and ninja steel and i also think they might be good enough to go i put them in front of the alien ranger suits zeo i zeo is s tier i put zeo in s tier because the helmets um the helmets are all shapes that correspond with that ranger's number um so one is a circle right two is you know two little oval lines and and so on three is a triangle things like that uh and i also just like the kind of the the mechanical look along the collars and everything like that and then the gold zeo ranger uh I think the if you turn a basketball sideways, this is what I used to do as a kid. And I would like look at a, I would grab my basketball and look at it like sideways, and it would always remind me of the Gold Zeo staff, how it looked, um, or like his helmet. So yeah, I would say that's S tier now, or the Zeo uniforms are S tier. Um, now, if I'm going to move any up or anything around, I would move in space to S tier. Um, I would probably move. This is going to be weird, but I would probably move Lost Galaxy to A. Hmm. I think I'm going to move Dino Charge to the A. I think Dino Fury is... The suits are still cool. But I also didn't watch enough of Dino Fury to really connect with the suits. Um... Because then I also think the I actually think the Dino Fury helmets knock those suits down a little bit. Because they are kind of like dinosaur, like heads, but they have like lines going across the visor and it, and it always kind of look weird to me. So I think I'm going to put Lost Galaxy in front of the Dino Fury suits. I'm going to keep the 2017 movies right where it's at jungle or a wild force um alien rangers okay so let's start let's start this from the top s tier we have time force zeo in space i'm fine with those a tier we have mighty morphin spd we have the white ranger the tv show white ranger and then we have dino charge i think i'm fine with that um b we have Lost Galaxy, Dino Fury, the 2017 movie, uh, Wild Force, Alien Rangers, the 95 movie, and Ninja Steel. I think for me... I think I want to move Lost Galaxy to A as well. I was thinking about that earlier. Um, and I think B is is fine uh, for moving up. C, we have RPM. I think I'm going to move RPM into B in front of Ninja Steel. And the, the 95 movie. Because again, 95 movie, the plating was just kind of doing too much. <clears throat> Alright, so we got that. We got Ninja Storm. With the TV show Ninjetti suits, the movie Ninjetti suits, um, yeah, I'll leave those as is. Um, Dino, no, uh, what was that Power Ranger series name? It's crazy because I actually um, remembered it earlier when I was going through everything, but now all of a sudden I can't remember it. I know Go Buster is the name of the Sentai series that it is based off of. I think that's Beast Morphers.
I think that might be Beast Morphers. Yep, those are Beast Morphers. So, Beast Morphers. I like that the helmets kind of look like they have, they're wear, wearing like goggles. Um, but overall, like the animal style, styling of the helmet isn't anything special to me. So I think I'm going to leave Beast Morphers where they're at. And you have Super Mega Force. Again, the pirate theme is okay, but I, I wouldn't say it stands out enough to move along anywhere um samurai again the the they, they're all the same they have like the 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 strap looking design on the uniform the helmets are the unique thing because it's all like the the lettering uh you have mega force again the helmets are the unique thing about that nothing special turbo the suits themselves, eh, it's the, really the helmets that make those, and even then, I'm not, I wasn't super impressed with the helmets, Dino Thunder, um, actually, I'm gonna move Dino Thunder down to D, because the more that I look at those suits, I, I, nah, um, Mystic Force, again, very average looking suits, so I think they're fine at C, uh now the d the d tier i could probably shift some of these around light speed Re rescue is probably staying eh. i'll move light speed rescue to the end because i just legitimately don't like those suits um and then the shapes on the on the helmets as well it's just it just throws everything off like you got the color and the white suits and then you got this color and black black looking visor and the shape really takes up a large amount of the visor as well i don't know just di didn't like it um jungle fury i think those suits are unique enough the helmets and the actual suits are unique enough um i'll put operation overdrive behind dino thunder because even though the dino thunder suits are are bad i think they at least have more uniqueness about them over the operation overdrive suits and then yeah so we got in the d tier we got jungle fury dino thunder um operation overdrive and lightspeed rescue so yeah that's been my suit ranking tier list uh for power rangers month guys i hope you guys enjoyed um if you disagree please leave it in the comments i think i'm pretty happy with the way that this list is and yeah check out all the other videos and i'll talk to you guys later